Hello and welcome to the YouTube channel of mprugs.com, a video channel that is all about Persian rugs and carpets from around the world. My name is Mike Hanna, I'm the moderator in the series of videos. And in this particular video, this is one of my personal favorites um, that I oftentimes talk about whenever it's possible, whenever we find something unique. And that is different types of Turkish genuine Heraki rugs. Um, these are the pure silk, the very fine Turkish rugs that have nowadays become virtually obsolete. They used to be um, made in Turkey up until about the 19, late 1980s and then the Chinese came in and basically decimated the market. Um, I have made a lot of videos about the difference between the Chinese and the Turkish silk rugs. But um, in this video, what I wanted to show you was several manufacturers, several weaving houses of Heracay that are really, that no longer exist. These are pieces that are about 50, 60 years old. I have um, to my left a genuine Turkish Heracay. I'm going to show you the signature and this is a very standard piece. Then we have right here in front of me um, this is from the GNK manufacturer of Herike. This is an old weaving house that unfortunately um, like I said like most of them have they don't make them anymore. Um, this is uh, about 60 years old. It's an absolute beautiful piece. I'm going to show you the signatures and talk a little bit about them. Then over here we have, and this is where, yeah, forgive me, my German accent, American, is going to really screw this up. This is called Deren. I, uh, the Turkish folks will probably laugh at the way I pronounce it. But this right here is a Devon Herike. It's another one of those, um, for those of you that are into Herike rugs, um, if you're a collector, you know what I mean when I say Devon or when I say the GNK manufacturer. They, um, to the collectors, these are very um, privately renowned um, weaving houses. Uh, these are well respected, very well known um, weaving houses from the old days. These are all uh, weavers um, that don't exist anymore. This, um, these are all about 50, 60 years old. None of these weaving manufacturers are still in business. This is one of the consequences of the cheaper Chinese influx of the Chinese Heracay rugs. Basically put them out of business simply because the prices of these rugs, if they were made today, would be so outrageously expensive that the market is simply not there to support this type of weaving. Um, but in addition to these two pieces, I also have an Aussie pack of all of the types of Herike rugs, the subtypes, the specialties. The Aussie packs are probably amongst the best known and the most thought after collector's items. The Aussie packs tend to be very high quality superior in quality than the standard Herike rugs. The, the standard type of Herike rugs, like as I'm going to show you, have a 10-10 quality and that means they have 10 knots per centimeter and that is in all three pieces but in the Aussie packs you can oftentimes, this is where, like in this case, we have, this is a 1313 quality. So if you think about it, over one centimeter, you have 13 knots, which roughly 
translates into something close to 30 knots per inch. So you're talking about the difference between these ropes, the three in the background, and the smaller one here is that this Aussie pack has about 900 knots per square inch. Also, the designs and the colors of the Aussie pack pieces, they tend to set themselves apart. But in this video, I want to show you four different signatures of Herike rugs. Unfortunately, three of them, they don't exist anymore. But I thought for those of you that are collectors who are fans of the Turkish Herike rugs, you are going to appreciate it because it's really rare to be able to actually have these four rugs in one place at the same time. So as I always do, I'm going to get behind the camera and then I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to show you all the different little features. And so I'm going to see you again in a little bit here as soon as I get behind the camera. So here again, I'm behind the camera as always. And to get things started, I have um, here we have a standard, beautiful Herakei rug. This is what you would expect to have seen 30, 40 years ago. Like I said, this one is it dates back to about 1980s. And even though um, there are still a few that are being made, nowadays the Herakei rugs have really become extremely rare, even in Turkey. Like I said, uh, most of the Turkish, when we go to Turkey, most of the Herakei rugs are Chinese imitations that are being sold. But here you have, this is a beautiful 1010 quality. Like I said, um, if you want to learn more about the Herakei rugs, we have other videos that you can, uh, where I talk about the differences and all that. But in this video, I want to briefly show you, this is what a genuine hair, this is what the Herakei signature looks like. And what is, um, important about this Herakei uh, signature is that most of, and I'm going to go under the assumption that, well, these are all genuine pieces. I'm going under the assumption that if you have, for example, a Turkish Herakei rug, one of the things that you will notice is that the ones that have the standard Herakei signature have a design that is also proper. Um, with the grain, meaning, as you can see, this rug is designed to be hung on a wall. Unlike the Persian gom rugs, the Persian gom rugs are actually woven the other way. So in the Persian gom rugs, the signatures would actually be at the bottom. This is why a lot of my clients who buy the Persian gom rugs, when they go to hang them on the walls, they say, well, Mike, we want the light side to be at the top. We want this rug to really shine, which in the Persian gom rugs, it means the signature ends up being at the bottom when they hang it. The Turkish weavers, they learned this a long time ago. So they learned that they actually put the signature at the top. Now, the reason I mentioned this, you see in the Herakis signature, this is standard. This, as you can see by the pillars of the design, this is supposed to be hung just like this. So when you look at the rug, this is the view that you, you know, this is how you would be looking at the rug. You can see, next we have, I'm just gonna, we have the Darren. The Darren signature, it says Darren Herike. It's a beautiful, also pure silk Herike rug. But again, this was a well known, it's a small, well known manufacturer, and they would often, you can, you notice the colors. This is standard Herike. Then you have, I'm just going to put them side by side. And you can see, um, even though there's only about, there's a 20 year difference between the two. 
but the Herike rugs are generally hung on walls. These are treated like paintings, like uh, pieces of art. But you notice the Darren weave manufacturer, they were known for having these earthly colors. It's a small manufacturer that used to make the rugs and you can see the signature, but I'm gonna talk about the signature in a little bit when I show you another piece. And I have to, uh, excuse me here, I'm doing this while I'm holding the camera in the hand. Here you have, this is the KNG manufacturer. The KNG manufacturer also in Herike, this is what they were renowned for. They would always put the KNG. Then they always had the Herike word with the Turkish flag woven on both sides. This is this is classic for this manufacturer. And then they would put little seals on the side. Um, now, these authentic seals, and I want to see some of them have still have them attached. Some collectors, they actually remove them. But it actually has a, you can see it right there. there it says Turkey. It's supposed to have, a, and it's very, very hard to read because when they add these, this is basically a sign of authenticity. Um, there's generally a little writing, a serial number. The problem is because so much of this is being forged in the Herike rugs, they later on stopped making it. But what I wanted to show you, which is really unique about um, some of these manufacturers is the fact that they kept the weaving style similar to the Persian Gomrugs. You notice, I'm just going to put this piece right here. Here you have two classic Herike rugs. But you notice how this one shines. This one, the way the the way the colors, the way you can see it in the videos, both of them have the signature. Here you have it in Turkish, Herike. Here you have it, Herike. But what is unique about these is that in order for you to hang this piece, you would be doing the same thing that you would be doing with the pure silk gom rugs and you would be right there. Check this out. This is how you're gonna hang it on the wall. You have a pillars, you have the chandelier at the top. But when you do this, the signature ends up being upside down. This is how the old school ways used to do it. The commercial weavers had pretty much learned that hey you know what if this is how people are going to hang them on walls well we're going to put the signature at the top the old school manufacturers the thinking was hey this is how it's been done for centuries this is how we weave the rugs so um this uh we're going to keep it as is so as a result signature is actually upside down. Um, we, last, I want to show you, this is one of not only my own personal favorites types of manufacturers, but as I mentioned to you, um, this is something that very co collectors, this is probably the most collected, most thought after collectible of the Herakay rugs. This is an Aussie pack. And you can see it has the Aussie Pack Heraki signature. The Aussie Packs, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, very fine pieces. They oftentimes are, in terms of quality, finer than the Herakis. They are also, they tend to have colors and designs that really set them apart. 
Also, um, another one of the differences between the Aussie packs and some of the other types of hurricane rugs is that Aussie packs are not traditional hurricane designs, meaning most Turkish silk rugs, if you were to draw a line down the middle, the left side and the right side are mirror reflections of each other. This is standard for most Turkish silk rugs. On most rugs, the Turkish silk, left and right, are mirror reflections. You can see them in my website. We have done, well, like I said, we specialize in the Turkish rugs. So if you go to mprugs.com, click on the Turkish rugs, you can see them. And here again, this is what this could be considered a borderline tree of life design. But you notice the, uh, the birds. If I were to take a line, draw it down the middle. If I were to literally cut this rug in half, the left side and the right side would be mirror reflections of each other. This is what I meant. But the Aussie pecs, they tend to be indifferent. This is very much like the Persian rugs, the Persian gom rugs, for example. You notice this is a tree of life design and it is not a reflection. The left side and the right side completely independent. This is very much like the Persian rugs. But the main thing is I wanted to show you was four different manufacturing houses of Herike rugs. This is the traditional. This is what you expect to see. These three, the Aussie pack, G and K Kelly, and with the unique signature at the bottom with the Turkish flag, as well as the Darren, these three no longer exist. These are all pieces that date back about 60 years and they don't make anymore. The manufacturers are gone. So for those of you who are into the Turkish silk rugs, I thought I'm going to show you something. It is really extremely rare to have four different, these are all genuine Turkish Herike rugs, and to have four of them on top of each other with four different signatures. But being that they're all genuine Herike pieces, for those of you who are into these types of Persian rugs, I thought you would, you would be as excited to see the video as I was just being able to show it to you. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, as always, feel free to visit us either at mprugs.com or subscribe and check out our other videos and we'll be coming back to you with more videos as time goes on. Best wishes from all of us. Take care. Bye-bye.